Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got an exciting new kit to share with you guys today. This is one that is pretty pretty highly anticipated over here in the United States because we don't get many Tamiya cars that are of American, or Tamiya model kits of American cars, I should say. And that's what we're getting right now. This is a 124 scale Ford GT4 from Tamiya. And it's gotten a lot of excitement from a lot of my customers over here. I think it's going to be a really good seller. Now, the kit is actually due out in May worldwide, but from what I understand, it's going to be released a month earlier in the United States as of April 20th. So the United States will get them like a month earlier, I guess because it's like the GT4, or excuse me, the 4 GT car. That one came out a little bit earlier in the United States. I guess because it's an American car, but uh, very excited that it is going to be on this because this is going to be a popular one. Now, uh, first of all, it's a decent sized box, as you can see, which is a little bit bigger than a normal Tamiya car kit. Oh, so okay, sorry about that little bit of interruption here. I will show you, I got a little, uh, little distracted. I'm looking out the front window as I'm filming this video here and the skies literally just opened up and we have a flash flood warning in Arizona right now and I saw that and the water started to back up towards my store so uh, this is what I actually just saw just a couple of seconds ago and it kind of freaked me out because it happens like that here it's really crazy how fast it is Okay, well it's kind of dying down now rain wise so at least it's not coming into the store we hope uh, knock wood <laughs> so but yeah this is going to be a really uh, exciting kit over here hopefully there'll be all kinds of aftermarket decals or maybe even to me it will come out with some other versions of it as of right now there are just two versions on the side and it's the regular ford livery where it's you know the ford racing team on it so what we're going to do right now is we are going to build this up but for today, we're just going to look at all the parts, the decals, all the other accessories that are inside of it, and show you what it looks like. And from what I understand, it's got a retail of $53 in the United States, so obviously it's going to be a lot less than that. And we will have it up for pre-order on our website at andyshhq.com, which the website will appear somewhere around my head in a few minutes here, a few seconds here. And you'll be able to go on there and pre-order it when you, uh, if you like the way the kit looks. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside of the kit first and show you what the different sprues look like. Uh, the first thing we'll start off with is the body. And I'll just kind of give you a lot of close-in zoom-in shots here. Take a look at everything on it. And there's actually a total of four sprues beside the body. And we're going to look at the chassis here. And it has a full roll cage inside as well. Show you that first now obviously that first sprue is in white and then the next two sprues are all going to be in black and actually i'll put this box so you can see the different parts a little bit better there You got the exhaust system, you got your wheels and brakes. Move on to the chrome parts.
and finally the clear parts. Okay, and since this is a race car, you get four racing slicks. A little bit of a parting line that you can easily take out by sanding that. We'll also look at the decals. Some nice metallic silver ones there. Plus also there is badges for it. And then it has a set of masking stickers that you can put on for all of the windows and they are die cut. So as you can see right here in the corner right here, they're already cut. So it's not something you need to cut out yourself and put in the place. So they're already been cut for you there. And as you can see, that's all of the parts that are in it. So it looks like to be a nicely detailed kit, but still pretty simple overall with only being uh, three big sprues and a couple of little sprues. So uh, looks like to be a nice build. Okay, guys. I originally planned this particular video to be a just review only so we could get some information out on the new car kit. Uh, kind of crazy times uh, here and around the world. And uh, I happen to be talking to my friend from the Lucas C channel, Lucas C. And if you don't know about him, if you've been on this channel for a while, you know we used to do a lot of... Uh, I guess you call it bantering. bantering back and forth. Yes, and, bantering. And so he's got a model car building channel. Yeah, I build model cars on that channel. Occasionally. And uh, very occasional. <laughs> that's a little <laughs> joke. But but no, he does all kinds of stuff with model cars. And what I thought I would do is he offered to build this up. So I thought this would be a great way that we could get this information out to you. Because it might be a little bit longer if I had to wait for me to do it. Oh, yeah. So what we thought we'd do now is... The actual build, the entire build, if you want to see all in depth, you can go over to the Lucas C channel. We'll put a link down below there, and you can watch the actual build. But for right now, we're going to show you the vehicle all built up. And to start off, just tell us um, just your impressions of well, it. Well, my impressions of this model kit is wow. Yeah, I really, really think Timia hit it right out of the ballpark. Well, they always do. Their, their, their car kits are always outstanding. But this one, uh, everything just went together beautifully. I really didn't have too much fighting with anything. If anything, I got to say, and it's not really disc in the kit that was so problematic, was there were so many little tiny parts because there's little tiny detail parts. That's how the car is. And with these meat hooks I got, <laughs> right. you know, I, I'm an old I man. Have a, my I vision, had the same thing. With man, me. I had a, a lot of bad cases of dropsy going on. But that's nothing against the kit. I mean, that actually tells you how much detail's in it. That's operator error. It was total yeah. <laughs> operator error. But I, you know, and I am a huge Mustang fan. Own a couple of them myself. And when this kit got announced, I got really excited. There's a lot of, oper uh, you know, a lot of things you can do with this model. But it is just, it, it, it it's great. It is a lot of fun. And before we get into actually showing everyone, uh, because I'm a little ignorant on the whole subject, yeah. I'm not in the car, is GT4. What is GT4 and what is this doing okay. right? Just take a minute on that. Yeah, GT4 is basically uh, kind of a showroom stock class in like IMSA or there's other classes in, in other parts of the country that they run these type of cars. It's pretty much a, they take a stock vehicle, stiffen it up for racing. There's a lot of race parts added to it, but they start out with a stock show, you know, they call it showroom stock, but it's what is called a body in white comes from the factory. Uh, sometimes uh, Ford will put the roll cage in it and the race teams will get it. Sometimes it's completely built by the factory. So when you say they, you meaning Ford. Does Ford, it? Yeah, yeah, Ford, yeah. Ford, Ford totally backed this. This was a, a total Ford race car. Uh, and, uh, but it, the, the, so the car has extremely stock dimensions. I mean, you could make a street car. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's a total race car, not a street car. Well, yeah, you're going to have a tough time making a street car, but you could make a really bad, bad, uh, <laughs> badass race car, <laughs> okay. or, or a street okay. car there. Right. <laughs> right, I see what you're saying. Yeah, right. it, yeah. it can, it, you can make a really cool street car out of it if you if you wanted to have, you know, someone who did that kind of sort of, sort of stuff on the streets. But um, it is, it's, it, as a matter of fact, if you, if you watched at Daytona this year, uh, there were some really cool uh, paint schemes of this particular car running at uh, um, 
four hour race they do with with GT vehicles before the Daytona 24 hours, and um, and because of that too, yeah. there's probably going to be a ton of decal variations. Oh, uh, I guarantee you, there's going to be you know, and I talk about it on on my channel about it, but like. Uh, there is uh, one race team that was running the old Motocraft paint uh, paint scheme on there from the oh, early cool. early days. Uh, yeah, so there's there's a lot of cool looking race cars. So I bet you there's going to be a lot of great decals coming out for this car. Very good. So let's take a closer look at the model now. Alrighty. Okay. okay, let's take a look and have him explain some of the build. All right. Well, first off, uh, in haste to getting over here, I did not put the mirrors into the rearview mirror things there so sorry about that they are at home i will put them in oh so there's the little metallic there's a little pieces metallic. for it's the on side the chrome tree fits in there along with everything else the fitment is awesome on this model so i'm sure they'll pop right in there with ease and i have the two uh hood hold down hold downs that i missed i i still have them but i just forgot to put them in so we don't have that on the car but pretty much everything's there you know it it was uh everything really fit awesome it's, it's kind of incredible um the thing that that is really cool about this is i'll, I'll flip it over and for being a curbside quite a detailed chassis um you know with a little bit of paint work you can really make it pop the the little details of the tie rod ends and the, the whole you know the a arms everything and everything just really just fit right together. There, nothing fought me at all. So it was it was outstanding. Um, the interior in the roll cage, if you can see up in there, yeah, you can see the roll cage is real, real detailed and intricate. There's some neat things. You know, you can see that uh, fire bottle in there. There's a few other other pieces and bits that uh, little racy things. In the dashboard, it, it, the detail is really, really good. If you really wanted to go far and add some detail to it, you've got a great basis. Uh, of course, out of the box, it looks outstanding. And in fact, um, you'll be able to see all those detail parts, too, in his build video. Like I said, if you go over to Luca's C channel, because he's going to show the actual build on it. And this one is just the first one. In fact, you planned on building, like you said, like four of them, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, or, I, want, I want three at least. <laughs> Three at least. So I he's going to be doing all kinds of super detailing on those, and maybe even down the road on his channel, you even see more of that. Yeah, I've got a couple of ideas. I tell you, my my ideas were going crazy when I was building this thing, and you can see how the those wheels. I didn't do anything to adjust the uh, ride height. That's how it sits. It has a great stance, and when I got it together, the thing sat nice and square, didn't teeter. You know, to me, they did great. And and check it out. That's cool. Look, poseable steering. Okay, well, there you go, guys. There's a quick look at the built-up of the Tamiya 24-scale Ford Mustang GT4. And I want to thank Lucas C. for helping us out with that. It's uh, The reason I had him do it, I was telling you earlier, I'm just kind of running out of time to do things. It's kind of crazy right now in the store, and it's kind of crazy around the world. There's uh, We won't get into too much in depth on that, but there is going to be some supply chain disruptions going on being that the majority of stuff is coming out of China. You've got Italeri is out of Italy. A lot of the major paint companies are out of Spain. A lot of the other companies are, well, you got South Korea for Academy models. And then Eastern Europe, there are so many other model companies over there too. So everybody, everybody's dealing with a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff right now, and me especially. So I was like, oh, when he offered to build this up, we came together, that is perfect right there. That way you yeah, guys get boy, to yeah. see it. Boy, did I offer. <laughs> right, yeah. He, he's been wanting this kit for yeah. a while. So definitely go over to the Lucas C channel, and you can watch the entire build. Yeah. Uh, it should be up probably in about, in a, about day a day or two. After this one comes out. Yeah, so this I, one I still got a lot of editing to do. There you go on it there. And he will have those mirrors and those other things fixed on it right yeah. there when you do your final thing. Yes, but, uh, I, I promise. But we wanted to just to let you know how the kit goes together, and you can watch all of that stuff, and it's, it is it is just a beautiful kit. Yeah. And because of that, like you said, there's going to be a ton of other markings come out, and maybe even to me, I might even do multiple box art ones that comes yeah, out with a whole other really set. Yeah, that would be really cool because there, there, there are a lot of other cars that, that – They've been running this car for a while, so there's a lot of other cars. It'll be excellent. So I want to thank you guys, as always, for watching. And please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming. And we'll see you in the next video.